Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. I'm Amy. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to do a pour on a 12 by 36 inch canvas. Hopefully I got it in where you can see most of it, if not all of it. <laughs> it's pretty long, but I think I think you got it. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to try to do a flip cup. I've never done one before yet, so, but I think I'm going to use two cups just to be on the safe side, so make sure I have enough paint. <laughs> I'm using um, Artist Loft's Acrylic Flow White. I can't see much of my container left. Um, <clears throat> that is mixed with Floetrol and, my, and um, Liquitex Gloss Pouring Medium. I'm going to use Soho's Rose Mater. I got it when the container was cracked, so there's paint everywhere. I'm using um, Creative Inspirations, Dioxazine Violet, Deco Arts Metallic Peacock Pearl, Deco Arts Metallic 24 Karat Gold, and Soho's Parisian Blue. And, oops, I almost lost my little tack there to poke a hoe. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by putting a little bit of white at the bottom. And I probably didn't need this big a container to get started. So I'm just going to put in a little white here. Oops, that's okay if I got some rips. <clears throat> Start. I don't know, this might be too much. I'm just going to take a little bit of that out of there. That's better. Now they're a little closer. I kind of want them to be pretty similar, I guess. I don't know if it's going to make a difference or not, but put in some of the girl I peacock pearl. I'm gonna grab my paper towels real quick. I might put one down. I don't think it's gonna make a difference because it's gonna be all <clears throat> tilted over anyway, but let's just do it anyway. I'm pretty sure you can still see that. Yep. <laughs> you can't see. I'll move it down just a little bit just to be safe. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put in a little bit of the Rose Mater. The Dioxazine. And then the gold. I'm kind of excited to do this, but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> and the Parisian blue is such a pretty blue. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with it. It's just such a beautiful, deep blue. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more white in here, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't want to uh, pour it in because I don't want too much, but I definitely want. I don't know, I think that's going to take too long. <laughs> Try to just pour some in. I'm making a big old mess here. I'm not going 
gonna have any left, so hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> and let's turn this a little bit so we can get some layering going on over here. Making a big old mess. I got a paper towel and I'm still not even making the drips on there. The blue. Okay. All right, so let me wipe my hands off here. What I'm going to try to do is maybe put one right next to each other and then pull it that way. Mm, actually, no. I think I'll do one down there and one here and then pull it this way and then I can bring it down. So I'm just going to slide this down a little bit so I can reach a little bit easier to get this to... Oh, there goes so much paint. <laughs> I'm not fast enough, I don't think. <laughs> oh, Lordy. But look at them cells. I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm trying to... Oh, I don't think I'm going to get a hole in there, so I'll just let it set a couple minutes. I'm just going to tip it this way a little bit, just so some of that paint won't go all the way off and then when I try to get it back in the frame so you can see everything I'm very sorry about my arm being here but it is what it is okay which one do I do first There's so many pretty cells. Like, look at the lacing. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. all right. So, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of start off down there and work it. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Bring it down and try not to take off too much. Slow. Don't want too much to go up there. I like that hole there. Oh. 
hope you can still see. I'm just kind of moving it back and forth. Kind of slowly going off the edge here. I don't want to go too far because I really like what it's doing. This I don't care so much for, but I'm going to try to bring it down. And then I'll kind of see what I can do from there. Let me wipe my hands off for a second. Think a minute. This is really cool here. I won't get what you see that when you bring it down. This I like. I don't really know about this with the white over it. I know that's from that white being at the bottom, but let's see if I can kind of bring it down a little bit. So pretty colors. I'm just trying to get rid of some of that white a little bit anyway if possible. Um, I'm just trying to, without stretching this down here out too terribly much, but just try to get rid of some of it. Maybe open up some of those cells down there. <clears throat> I'm just going to bring it down this way here and see. What we got. Very cool. Maybe I wish I didn't put as much white in the bottom. I like it though because now that some of these cells are opening up here. This I love. This is beautiful here. These colors are just gorgeous. And this right here, I can't wait to show you when I bring you down. <clears throat> Get the colors that they just have some of that gold like wrapped around the color. It's so cool. Let's see. I'm going to wipe my hands off again. I'm going to have some really pretty magnets. I have plenty of time to make them. I am, my first show is in June. So, but these are gonna be some pretty ones. Pardon my arm under here, I'm trying not to. So when I try to get all the air bubbles. that corner down there but I'm, I'll do that later afterwards but 
I like it. Some really pretty cells coming up here. These really opened up when I torched there. That looks cool. I like that better now. Too bad there wouldn't be some more here, but it's kind of cool the way this this um, peacock pearl is underneath the white. That's really pretty. It's funny how like you can use the same amount of each paint, but one color just literally takes over your painting. Like look how much peacock pearl we see. I literally use the same amount of everything. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. Sorry about that. Oops. Second here, I'm just trying to turn my lights off. Okay. That way you can see it better. But just look at that pretty, how pretty those cells were that came up. I love this. It's so cool. And that gold just gives such good, amazing cells. And see, there's, there's some that are coming up here now. So that's pretty cool. Maybe some more will come through. But look at how pretty that is there. And then look at those. Those are gonna be some pretty, pretty magnets. And then look at this. Let's see if you can see it this way. And you see how that gold just wraps around those colors? So pretty. I love it, look at that. How cool is that? And then you look at it one direction and it's just like wrapped in gold. <laughs> look at those pretty, pretty magnets. That one there looks like a piece of candy. <laughs> but I do thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you will like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And yeah, um, Hopefully everybody's being healthy and safe from COVID. I have my shot set up for the 16th. So hopefully things will start to get somewhat back to normal. That's so cool with that purple there. That dioxazine purple is such a beautiful color. And this just looks like rainbows. Gorgeous. I don't know if I can get a big picture of it, but it's pretty cool. I like it. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Keep being creative. Bye.